anytime you have a company that is turning away business because they're so backlogged, there's a tremendous opportunity there. All right, guys, before we get to today's video, quick shout out to my own company, Adventure Drive. So we do these driving events all over the world. 2023 is no exception. We've got three trips coming up. One from Washington, D.C. to Nashville. This is from April 26th to the 30th. Then in July, we're doing a trip to Italy, which is going to be phenomenal. It's all northern Italy starting and ending in Rome. You're going to love that one. And if you can't make it overseas or to the East Coast trip, you've got plenty of runway for the September 20th to 25th drive, starting in Napa Valley and ending in Las Vegas. That's going to be a great trip as well. Check them out. I put a link right below in the description of every video. Hope to see you out there. All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and a lot of you guys want to get into renting cars like this, right? It's sexy, it's a great business in your mind, and it's awesome. And a lot of people miss out just because they want to be in the car world before they can afford to be. A lot of people miss out on the opportunity to buy something like this because they're always chasing this dream of a company that doesn't have the best cost structure and everything like that. Well, good news for you. I've got a deal that, and it's not a deal because I'm just going to try to help somebody sell a company, but a lot of people overlook the opportunities out there in life. And they're so fixated on the shiny stuff that they don't get in the stuff that they can actually use their skills, make money, and then go out and buy five of these and then have a company to sell that has a value. Well, here we are. We're going to visit Benton, Kentucky, and I've been there. That's where I get my ramp trucks made. Now, you know, I have the two current ramp trucks. I've got three more that are getting built. This is by Hodges Custom Haulers. Now Hodges is the only name in fixed deck car haulers. So it's instead of having all the tilting mechanisms of a flatbed truck, for significantly less you can have a stretched frame fixed deck truck that works incredibly well with many less moving parts. Now the company itself to me is a bargain because he was looking for $450,000 for the entire business. Now you're getting the name, you're getting the workspace, you're getting, and, and you have to sort of look what the issues are that exist and see where you can then make more money off of that. You're getting a business where the guy's been there forever. The most valuable part of this company that everyone overlooks, right? Anyone, I could go, oh, why would I buy a company? I could just go start my own fixed deck truck company because he's got a backlog of orders. He's, he's turning away new orders. Anytime you have a company that is turning away business because they're so backlogged, there's a tremendous opportunity there. Now, I, I've known Johnny for years. He's having a problem right now, which is easily fixable, is that he can't get enough welders in there to keep up with demand. But he's also at the point in his life where he wants to now move on and sell the business to somebody and get out of it. The structure of the sale is easy. But if somebody wants to get involved in what I consider an excellent enterprise, because you can now take this demand, you can streamline the production a little bit, because look, Johnny's a nice guy, but he's been limiting his production over the years based on his own inefficiencies. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? That's when you go to look to buy a business, you're buying inefficiencies, you're correcting them, you're making it more profitable. You're scaling the business where he's happy with his one location in Kentucky. Maybe you've got a you've got a Kentucky location, which is in the middle of the country. You've got a location in Pennsylvania for the uh, eastern side of the country, and then you open one up in Arizona or uh, or somewhere else. You go start talking to dealerships to even further increase demand. So now instead of just building a la carte for everybody, you start selling 20 trucks at a time to these dealers and then reselling the trucks. All of these are possibilities for you to take your $400,000 or $450,000 investment and turn it into a multi-million dollar business and then sell it to other people, right? Or just continue to generate that cash flow forever. I think the business is a good deal. I feel like everybody else that would be like, all right, I'm just going to go buy this Ferrari and then rent it out. You're going to have a depreciating asset because you're going to be putting a buttload of miles on it. The insurance, the maintenance, everything on this car, significantly more than the same $450,000 is going to get you an entire company. You're going to provide a living for people. You're going to be paying people their wages to then like, it's just so much more of a staple feel good business opportunity than going out and buying cars to rent. You need millions of dollars to buy cars and make this work. 
Here, this guy's handing you, he's like, look, I've got 42 deposits right now. And that's not even counting my other two trucks. So he's got a minimum of 44 deposits right now. And he's building about one truck per week. So he's got almost a year's worth of business stacked up. That's not a bad deal. I see a lot of value here. If you guys are interested in, in starting a business and making ramp trucks, the shortcomings that I see in this business are you need more labor. So you need more welders. You can raise the prices. You can bring your margins up by raising the prices. There's plenty of demand. If you came to me and said, look, Rob, you're six months out. I can build one sooner, but it's going to cost you an extra three grand. Guess what? That money's getting wired over the same day. So you can sell priority. You can streamline the process by he custom makes all the toolboxes at for every truck. I would stamp out 50 toolboxes and say, we can give you a standard toolbox, or if you want a custom toolbox, it'll take a little longer. This will help you do your put through. So you, instead of doing one truck a week, now you're doing two trucks a week because the welding shop is what is taking up the time and making things take longer. Also makes trailers. Like there's so much stuff that can be done here. You can open up a second location. You could start selling. But the hard part and the hardest part of any business is generating the customers. If you have customers there and all you have to do is figure out how to serve them quicker, that is not a bad investment. So any of you guys out there that are talented welders or, or you've got a group of welders and you're like, look, man, we're out here making our $45,000 a year. My boss like anything like this sucks. You hate going into work every day. This could be an opportunity for you. Um, or somebody with money that wants to take it over and say like, look, I'll hire the welders. I'll bring it in. I'll increase the efficiencies. And you'll, it's not like you're just buying everything and this dude's walking away. He'll help you out. You can get creative with the sale of it. Cause if he's got just say whatever, what did I say? It was uh, 42 or 43 orders. He's got hundreds of thousands of dollars in deposits in house. Maybe instead of giving them the $450,000, you say, look, you keep those deposits and I will work my way through this. So that's like almost like a down payment by giving him the, the ability to keep $150,000 in deposits. Now you have to come up with less money, getting a bank loan for buying a business, all good stuff. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, uh, shoot me an email or I'll give you his email, however you want to do it. Uh, my email is rob at, at superspeeders.com. But this is a better way to get into stuff. Everybody wants to go for the sexy and I'm telling you, going into a sexy business, there's so many millionaires out there that have businesses that you would be like, whatever, I don't want a car wash. I don't want to own a gas station. I don't want, like, it doesn't sound sexy, but the money's there. So are you really into this life for making money or are you just into it so people think you're rich? And driving around a bunch of exotic cars that your company owns or that you don't have or you can't afford isn't really a good play long term because it's also super risky that it could fall out from under you at any point in time. Getting a staple business that's scalable that you can that you can build, lower overhead, significantly lower insurance costs, and a good runway. You got a lot of customers already lined up. You got a brand name that's already there that has a value, and you've got the potential to grow that. So that's something that's a little bit more appealing. And there's like even if you're like, well, what happens if we switch away from? Uh, gas vehicles. I'll tell you what, you'll make a battery operated ramp truck. At the end of the day, you're always going to need a way to move a disabled car or a, a high end car or some sort of automobile on the back of something else. And the fact that you can pull multiple cars with these are great regional trucks. You're going to have a hard time going wrong. And the, you're buying a name that I'm telling you is like a standard in the industry. Everybody's like, oh, is it? Oh, you have a ramp truck. Is it a Hodges custom hauler? If it is, it's more, re it's more sellable, it's more desirable, and when you can get something like that for this amount of money, I think you're in good shape. Drop me a message if you're interested. Uh, this is not a sponsored post. I've got no dog in this fight. I get no benefit of this. I don't need to get, I'm, welding is not my thing. I don't need to buy the company either, but I think it's a great opportunity for somebody and it'll help him move on to his retirement phase in life in six months or 12 months. And he'll work hand in hand with you, transitioning the company over to you. I think it's something that may fit very well with one of you guys. So thank you for watching. Let me know.